Hey guys, how are we doing? Welcome to another Buzzing About Town here on Buzzing Pattaya. And today I'm doing one of my totally off the cuff random ride arounds. I get a lot of people sending me messages saying, Trev, just go out and just wander around and see what's going on and just wing it on a prayer. So today is one of those days. Uh, I'm over here, I'm on Third Road. I'm outside, if you look in there, that is the much talked about uh, new area, the Excite area. Uh, it's destined to be a Chinese aimed uh, location from what I'm told. Certainly there's enough room here to park all the, the uh, coaches. So we'll have a look around in, inside Excite. Then we'll go down to Excite, along Soy Bacow, down Soy 15, uh, along Second Road, I don't know, up Soy Gale Beach. Oh, I don't know, we'll just wing it as we go and uh, let's see what's going on today. I tell you what, it's bloody hot, really is. But make the most of it, because next month is Songkran and no matter how hot it's gonna be, you're gonna get soaking wet if you are here. Right, so. Just a quick plug, boys. There's the old tin lid, but look at that badge. Come on, the gunners. We're only top. Well, we are at the time of me making this video. It'll probably be down the bottom by the time you've read it or watched it. Anyway, right, I'm going to get my gear on and then we're going to head off and let's have a wander around town today and see what's going on. So here we go. Now, like I say, you know, there's a lot of rumours. I mean, let's be honest, the city's built on rumours. Uh, but there's a lot of rumours that this area is going to be very muchly aimed. Very muchly, is that a word? Very muchly? I oh, know, you know what I mean. Anyway, that this area is going to be aimed at the Chinese buses. Um, I don't know. I honestly don't know. I'll tell you what, it's gone under a lot. See here, look, Z4 Patea. I'll have to come up here one evening and have a look around because truthfully, I don't know what half of these places are. Nakata, that looks like a theme, lots of cats on there. Uh, more building work, see look, there's a lot more construction happening. They've still not finished. And down here, do you remember the uh, vault that Dean was gonna do? That's, uh, we're at the back of the vault now. He sold that, now it's gone, no, no longer his. There you go, look, some more, more construction work. So I'm guessing there's at least another, what, one, two, three, four, there's another five units to be put in here. And uh, where are we? Where's Dean's place? This was being built. It's up there. Uh, hang on. Which one was it? I think it's the M one, actually. That was the... Uh, do you know my helmet's cracking? I don't know what's going on about. Anyway, right, that's better. Yeah, uh, he sold it now. No more. No longer. Decided to focus on the dive bar. But I don't know, guys. You know, what do you reckon? I mean... I suppose if they was to put some more bars in here, but then again, would they put the, I don't think they'd put the girly bars. I think the girly bars wouldn't work because it's going to kind of go against the theme. But look, you know, these are quite nicely presented. I suppose it could be restaurants in Indian around. Let's have, a, let's have a quick one. I'm going the wrong way, but never mind. I'll plead ignorance. Murchie, restaurant and bar. Big chilli out the front there. Ian, don't go in there, mate. You'll have your pants down. He can't eat our food, bless him. He tries, but he just can't do it. Uh, and there's this Z4 again. I don't know what they are. Look, what's that? Oh, okay. I'll carry out opening on the 9th. Cool. All right, well, let me do a, a, a UE. At night time, I'll tell you what, it does look lovely here. All the lights lit up and everything. I'll have to put that video in uh, in the members area. I'll tell you the reason why. Nothing nothing against you guys that are not members. It's just YouTube had me pants down at the moment. They just they don't like anything to do with the nightlife. Really struggle. Sky Music Restaurant and Pub. All right, that looks decent. BB Club Patea, restaurant and pub. Yeah, look, the Wish Beer, that's got to be one of, that's got to be one of those like craft beer places, I guess. See, if you like your beers, guys, there's three or four places. Up here, maybe we should make one of these a buzzing bar. What do you reckon? Should we have our own enclosed air-conditioned buzzing bar with a pool table? They're big enough. I wonder how that would work. TNT 99. Barber salon, here, come and get your hair cut. No need for me to pop in there. Uh, beef shabu. Not sure what that is. That looks like. Oh, that's a play centre. Yeah, definitely where we know girly bars up here if there's a play centre there. Mum, Dad, what's that going to be over there? Uh, this, I believe, is open air. Yeah, there's a the stage, open air music. I think that will be seating. And of course, my missus would be delighted The KFC. She loves the KFC. I can't, I can't say it's my thing. It gives me gout. I do like KFC, don't get me wrong. I do have the occasional, uh, the occasional uh, feed, but I try and keep them to a minimum. 
All right, so we're now back on third road. I'm just gonna quickly nip up here. Coming up soon, guys, I'm only gonna do three 60 degree videos. Check that out. So uh, I'm gonna do two styles. I'm gonna do one where it's a complete 360 degree video. You can have a link, you can have a play around and one that I'm just going to take the 360 degree angles. And talking of angles, there you go, over there. King's Club, there's a lot of angles in there, I can tell you. Go in there, they've got a pool table, buy the girl a drink, and as if by magic, a bit of Paul Daniels will happen and uh, a top falls off. Buy another drink and well, hey, the imagination runs wild. And we're right on the corner here. This is Soy 23, Soy Excite. And uh, if you like your food, I did, a vi I did a video ages ago about bacon brew. Uh, they're just down here, really, really nice. There's all the ladies waiting for a massage. You want a massage? I'll tell you what, it's great. You ride around with a camera in your hand and nobody asks me, do you want a massage? They leave me alone. Maybe I should get just a plastic one and they'll leave me, leave me be. Car rent, Mr. T, car for rent. I've got to rent a car soon. My mother's coming down on holiday. She will, she'll be here very soon. But uh, here you go, in there, bacon brew. Very, very nice, great food. I've done the video, the breakfast in there, very, very good food. Nice as well, very well presented. And all of these. Now, I'm guessing, well, they left, a, they left to be the uh, back. You've got a big concrete plinth there, so you can't step in. Um, but uh, that's the back of those units, I was saying. But what do you reckon, guys? What do you reckon? I mean, like, I've, I've spoke to Stephen about this. I'm not hiding anything. We've already spoke about the possibility, just the possibility of having a standalone buzzing bar. Maybe we're even going to have a, we're going to look at finding a place where we can put rooms above, or there is rooms above, and we can rent them out. What do you think? You know, before we commit, what do you think, guys? Good idea, shit idea? Is it a good idea to have a completely standalone buzzing bar where you can come in, air condition, pool table, pool league, uh, all that kind of stuff? We'll do theme nights. We're talking about getting the rooms. We're talking about making the rooms themed. So uh, if you're into, I don't know, handcuffs in the wall and all that kind of stuff. If you want to get a bit, a bit uh, excited, then you'll have a room that's themed for that. What do you reckon on that one? Maybe, maybe not, I don't know, up to you. It's nice to see a few people out and about now during the afternoons. Of course, there's a triangle bar. Go and see Steve, lovely, lovely guy. Go and see him, right, let's get across this here. All right, so we're just coming out the other end. Coming out the other end of uh, Soy Pothole. And uh, what we'll do is we'll nip across. Uh, let's go down this way. Yeah, so that's the theme anyway. What do you reckon? Buzzing bar. Good idea, bad idea. Answers on a postcard, please, and email me the answer down below. Now, so we're heading up here. Let's go up here. Hello. Check this bad boy out. God damn. Now, if you want a, a good massage in there, aroma massage, that's uh, more than aromatic. Let's leave it at that. See, I would give you today's rates, but I can't see them. Uh, 40, oh God, I can't read that. My eyes are crap. I really do need to get them sorted out. I can't read it for love of money. Here's the hospital, city hospital. Always busy, lots of people here. Great for coming down, grabbing a snack. Get yourself a snack, no dramas. And what we'll do is we'll go down, we'll go down to Soy 15. On the right here, see there? That's uh, Soy Boomerang, as we call it. There's Playgirls. That is absolutely rocking. Now, they've done a fantastic job in there. They really have, really good. And there's Dynamite. That's another place that's uh, currently ticking all the boxes on the radar. I did a video in there a while back of all the girls and stuff. I uh, did a night, night video for them. That was good fun. Great laugh. And do you remember a while back I came in? Look, let me show you this. Do you remember this place was under construction? That looks pretty jazzy. Don't know what the rates are or anything. I'm slowly starting to edge into doing a few more um, hotel reviews and food reviews. I did a review the other day of uh, Inferno. They're doing a new menu now, they've got breakfast. I'll tell you what, the breakfast was decent. Hello, what's going on here? Oh no, we're gonna be here a while, aren't we? Uh, let me see, can I navigate through that? Not sure, let's have a look. If I can't, then we'll go through Boomerang and we'll do a different route. Oh no, they're all, hello, where's he going? Well, I can't go anywhere now. Got away here. Sorry, guys. Oh, incidentally, there's Andy at the Hideaway. Hideaway's really good food. Really, really good food. Go and see Andy. Lovely guy. This guy's doing a reversing. What do you have? Look at them. Nice. Right, come on. We should be able to clear our way. We're going to head down towards Corandos. There you go over there. Land for sale two ride with EIA approval to build the Hilton. Build the Hilton. How about that for a game? 
A new Hilton. What's wrong with the one on, on the uh, beach road? That's nice, that's decent. Uh, Tuck's Bar and Restaurant over there. So many places I've never been to. Right, though, what's going on here? Are they going to build a... Oh, I don't know. Go on, darling, you go. Pop a wheelie. Do you remember when we were kids riding push bikes? I used to be able to ride halfway down my road on one wheel on the back wheel. Flipping over, I did that now, I'd have a heart attack. Probably, probably fall off within the first five meters and break all my arms and legs. Uh, Sintara Azur Hotel. Nice location, very nice. I actually own two condos in there, me and my mate we got them between us. And then we sold them on. Uh, there's Carando's. Pop in there, they got great food. Lovely, lovely girls. Uh, don't need me to explain that. Uh, they're not, it's not a girly bar as in such like you'd expect, but certainly there's a lot of girls in there. Very, very pretty indeed. And the food's fantastic. Nice pool table. And down here, look, loads of, uh, you want massage? Mister, you want massage? People often say to me, how do you know where the massage is going to lead? Well, the first thing you want to do is if that's what you're thinking, then uh, make sure you pick a lady for someone that ticks your boxes. In other words, how she looks. If she's pretty and you like her, well then you do that. Yeah, right, boss. Uh, when you go in, normally if they ask you to shower first, that's always a good sign. If they say to you go and shower, take that as a go and shower. And uh, you never know. Sometimes they join you just to make sure you wash all the right bits. And then when you lay down, obviously, you know, towards the end of the lay down on your face part, they will make it quite clear of where the uh, massage is going to end, and they might accidentally have a bit of a slip with their hand, and it's, uh, well, let's leave it to your imagination as to what they may or may not get hold of. Two ping pong, two ping pong balls and, a, and a, a croquet racket. No, not a racket, what's it, a croquet stick. <laughs> that was terrible, wasn't it? I, I, we'll, we'll leave that one there, I think. Anyway, right, let's get down here. But yeah, so uh, that's the indication. Firstly, pick a girl that you like for the massage. Uh, if she asks you to go shower first, that's a definite sign of the, of the things to come. And then uh, when she's massaging, she'll make it quite, quite evident. If you want to take things in a different direction and you want more, more than just your back oiled, well then uh, you'll soon take it. All right, so we're just going around the back roads now. Nice, isn't it? Uh, that's City Garden, that is City Garden there. And a lot of these places, you know, if you decide to stay in these places, they're only literally a 10 minute walk into the city centre, into the area. And uh, depending on how many beers you've had, there might be a half hour walk back. But it's not a million miles away. A bit of exercise does you good. Says me, lard ass sitting on a bloody motorbike riding around. <laughs> but yeah, I'm gonna bring some 360 degrees. I can't wait to do that. Uh, that'll be good fun. Something different. And you can sit there and you can swirl, swirl the camera around using your mouse on your computer. <laughs> of course, yeah. How cool is that? Now, there is a place I do want to shout out. And uh, a hangover lounge. Go up here. See this turning here? I won't go up there, but he's right at the end. Go up there and see Dave. Right at the end on it. See that pink sign in the distance? Right at the very end there, that pink sign, that's the hangover lounge. Go and see Dave. He's a diamond geezer. He really is. Lovely, lovely guy. Has a handful of girls working in there. They sometimes will wash your motorbike. And if you like your wet t-shirt things and that kind of stuff, uh, they will oblige. But it really is great, great little bar. And uh, it's definitely full on. Let's leave it at that. So over here, uh, second road now, guys. Second road. As you can see, they're, uh, they're still doing some road works. Oh, man. I could never ride a horse. I couldn't ride a horse. I'd never stay on. Uh, but this is second road they're doing they've done a lot of improvements they've been busy over the last year putting all the big underground piping underneath as to how successful that will be we'll see in a couple of months when the rainy season hits us and uh, fingers crossed hopefully it will make a massive difference if it doesn't well uh, they say it's a thought that counts and it will look it'll cost them a few million baht that's for sure some more places down there uh, let me just get ahead of myself oh jesus that's a nice car. <laughs> right, well, oh dear. I really need to sort myself out. Well, I think this car's gonna T-bone me. No, he's letting me go good. Oh my God, there's a bus here. You can go, mate, I ain't arguing with that. Flipping hell. See you guys. I take my hands into my own life here. And with the 360 degree camera, what I can do is I can strap it to the front of the uh, bike 
and it will take 360 degree video footage, meaning in front, to the left, to the right, behind me, above me, really is pretty funky. Uh, Zakia, if you like your Indian food, that's the place I've been to. A little bit pricey, but again, you get what you pay for. The food is very, very good. And uh, I've been in there quite a few times, Zakia. And a place that I will mention here, just go here, see Casa Pascal. Uh, Ian and I went there one evening recently and had uh, dinner. In there on the right hand side was absolutely top, top notch. Very, very well. fine dining, it is fine dining. Casa Pascal. Right, let me get out of this, uh, not on that you lug old dear. Right, Nags Head, that's another popular place I see mentioned a lot. I've never, I've never actually been in there, so I don't take my word for it, but I do hear it mentioned all the time. Right, let's pop through this gap. Uh, right, where am I going? I don't know. These are the things we're... Oh, right, yeah, here's the avenue up ahead. I hope I ain't boring you with these guys. I do get asked to do this a lot, so Trev, just literally just ride around, just wing it. But I feel, like, guilty. I feel, I feel like I'm not really doing you any justice by wasting your coffee morning watching this. But uh, anyway, there's the avenue. McDonald's, I am partial to a Big Mac or 10. Over there, the wonderful beer. Look, day and night, all beer in the meeting point, 60 bar. It's great to see that place has reopened. That's a very, very popular place. And talking about, now here, I can show you this, right. Now, look at that place in front of you there. That is called Tim's Pharmacy. Go in there, very, very good service. You can get everything you want, and I mean everything you want. Uh, no coffee crap, and uh, very, very good. I've been using them for years. So if you need some enhancements of any description or you want anything the, you know you need, go in there and see them. They speak perfect English. Very, very good. Highly recommended. Okay, after you. Oh. Okay, right. Yeah, Tim's Pharmacy. You used to have a go-go there. Tim, Tim's a go-go, but sadly, that uh, didn't make the distance, unfortunately. But you know, you can see it's busy now, guys. You know, it's getting better. Yeah, it's nothing like it used to be, but it is getting better. No doubt about that. And another place that you might want to put on your radar. Well, there's two places in there. Let me pull over by this car. Do you remember I did the video about the, uh, the pee shot, the injection in your willy? They're going to give you a hard on for about six months. That's it right there. So if you walk up to Mike Mail, literally you see that green entrance at the far distance on the left hand side. That's where they are. And just go in there. Mention buzzing. You get a 10% discount. And uh, over here, kiss food and drink. I think it's 10%. It's either 10% or 1,000 baht. But anyway, mention buzzing and you will get that. And uh, there, there's kiss food and drinks. That's a great place. Been here a long time. Right, I need to get back on the road. Uh, let's have a look. See what I mean? Like, look at this guy. Look. Busy, busy, busy. Right, here we go. I'm out. I'm out. I'm going. All right, of course. Hey, I love it. They just amble across the road. It's okay, I'm on holiday, you won't run me over. <laughs> Kaplunk. Oh, who remembers that game, Kaplunk? Do you remember that? It's like pickup straws, but with marbles. Great game. Right, let's keep going. Where are we now? Oh, yeah, you've got to be bored now. I'll tell you what I'll do, I'll go through your Gale Beach. We'll go through there, and then we'll, we'll have a quick, we'll end up at the buzzing bar. But all jokes aside, guys, like, it would really help me. It would really, really help me. What do you honestly think about the idea of a dedicated, Nothing wrong with what we've got now. It's nothing wrong with it at all, and it's still going to be there. But what do you think about a dedicated buzzing bar? And we might put rooms above. Uh, you can rent out the rooms. Uh, we'll, we'll do a pool table. We'll enter a pool league so you can play pool with us and join in the fun. Um, we'll still operate like similar happy hours and stuff like that. And uh, I don't know. What do you think? I just, I think now we're in a situation where we could probably just about justify this. So uh, answers on a postcard, please. What do you think, guys? Good idea, bad idea. What would you like from the bar? So we, we, if we were to do this, what would you like back from the bar? How would you like it laid out? What kind of things are you looking for? Let us know, guys. Remember, this is the community. It's all about what you want, not about what I think. So this is Sidegale Beach. Uh, Score Beach, sorry. So what do I get Sidegale? So where have I got that from, you absolute felon? Uh, Score Beach, sorry. Why have I kept saying so? Anyway, right. Score Beach. And this leads nicely into the back end of Tree Town. And what we'll do is we'll go up here, we'll bung a left, I'll finish at the bar, 
show you how the bar's looking. And uh, yeah, that'll be it for today, I think. Oh, tell you what, in half roast potatoes, it really is hot as trot. Still early, so that's why the bars aren't open right now. It's still early. This place comes alive about uh, about five o'clock. Five o'clock is decent. They've sold the beach club now. I'm told. I'm told that they're going to put a roof over it so they can reopen. So that'd be good for the area. That'd be a welcome back. And I went in there the other day. I actually went in there, and uh, do you know what? It was all right. They got about ten girls, and uh, yeah, it was all right. There we go, there's the buzzing bar. Right, I won't put the camera in there because people are not there if they're uh, on there. So let's just wrap the camera around. Let's just take this beast off. Oh man. See what I have to part with? It's incredible. Boiling hot, really boiling hot. No, in fact, see, well, let's just go down the bottom here. Hello. Hello, Neil. I'll be back in a minute. Neil's asking, what are you doing, T? What are you doing? Right, so what we'll do is I'll just come around the corner here and then I'll finish off out the way of people. Oh. Man, it's right. Yeah. Hey, I'll look. Yeah, have a look at that. That's the beach club. And like I say, I've been told, oh, hello, can we get a sneaky peek? Ooh, let's have a look. Let's have a look. What's the worst they can do? Tell me to sort of. Yeah, let's have a look in there. Hang on. Hold on, guys. Wait, let me park up. Let me get me uh, Inspector Cluso head on. Oh, what, what an actor he was. Who was that? What's his name? Um, God, what was his name? Inspector Cluso. What was the guy that played him? Peter Sellers. Peter Sellers. Man, that was good. So what I'm, oh look, they've stripped it out. Jesus, that's a massive change. Oh my God, wow. Look at that. That's been gutted. And I've been told that this has been sold. But uh, yeah, look at that. Such a shame, you know, the original owners, they invested so much money into this. And uh, clearly, as you can see, it's in a state of turmoil. But I don't know what the new people are gonna do. Don't know what's gonna happen with it, but we'll have to watch this space. All right, there we are. That's it for me today, guys. I hope you enjoyed that. Uh, like I say, just a random, literally off the cuff ride around just to see what's going on. And uh, well, now you see what's going on. That's about it. All right, there we are. That's it. Thank you very much indeed for watching, guys. Please, as always, remember, hit the subscribe button. And also the bell icon, if you'd like to be notified when I bring out a new video. Uh, have a look in our members area on the website, uh, Buzzing patia.com and have a look at our members link there's lots of goodies in there you might want to jump across and come and support the channel and uh, get on discord totally free of charge there's over 10,000 people in there now nearly and uh, it's just a great wealth of information as they totally free of charge there we are that's it for me thank you so much indeed for watching and please as always wherever you are in the world stay safe